Not every musician makes a living solely from playing music. In Chicago, a punk rock band called the Bull Weevils has been balancing their conventional day jobs with their unconventional hobby for over two decades. Reporter Jay Shevsky from Chicago PBS station WTTW has their story. Most Wednesday nights, a longtime Chicago punk band called the Bull Weevils rehearses in a northwest side basement. Punk rock is fast and loud, with often angry and rebellious lyrics. But rebellion can take many forms. For the Bull Weevils, you could say it's also in how they live the rest of their lives. Like lead singer Daryl Wilson, Dr. Daryl Wilson. He's an ER physician at a suburban Chicago hospital. If you think about emergency medicine, it's kind of a punk rocky kind of thing. It's kind of real, it's raw, and I think punk rock is raw too. It's something that, you know, hits you in the face. At first, his colleagues were a little surprised. They look at it and go, you don't have a hobby like just play squash or tennis or something like that. It's like, no, I jump off of stages. <laughs> Daryl says he started listening to punk rock in middle school when his parents' marriage broke up. But I found the aggressive nature of the music was a good way to release energy in a way that wasn't dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, you could, you know, kind of slam dance and, you know, pretend you're fighting with people that you weren't fighting. And the music was cool. I, I liked the music. and had a message behind it, too. A lot of it was political, so I liked it. At first, Daryl was just a fan going to concerts. Then, guitarist Ken Fitzner recruited him in 1989. The Bull Weevils were just getting started. We just thought he looked cool at the show, and we had gone to a bunch of shows with them. So it was like, all right, uh, do you want to be in our band? Here's our tape. We practice next Sunday. And that was it. That was it. So wait, you liked his look. Did you ask him if he could sing? No. <laughs> no, I had no idea if he could sing whatsoever. Not at all. Some of the other Bull Weevils also have jobs that might surprise you. Drummer Pete Mumford is a college administrator. Bassist Pete Mittler is an electrician. And Ken Fitzner, he's a Chicago public school principal. My passion is being a principal. That is really my passion. Uh, it gives me such satisfaction. And where the punk rock comes in is that becomes an outlet and a place for me to be um, a little bit more crazy. a little bit uh, different. He says he used to hide it at work, but now he sees it as setting a valuable example. My life growing up in the city was tough as well, much like these kids are here. And I think it's really important that they have something uh, that lets them express themselves. Having that outlet is probably one of the best things that's ever happened to me. But when your music is all about rebellion and you've got a successful mainstream job, are you still a rebel? Daryl Wilson says it's all about being true to yourself. I mean, I'm a six foot four, 230 pound guy with dreadlocks who walks into a room and says, I'm your physician. People have this kind of staunch stereotype of what a physician is, too, and you know, or what a person who looks like me is. And that's the whole point. I wanted to do all those things. I wanted to be a punk rock singer, I wanted to be a physician. I think that I just was rebelling against the idea of people trying to put labels on me. The Bull Weevils may practice in a basement, but they're a pretty big deal in the Chicago punk scene. Lots of records, national tours. Recently, they played at a festival in England. The bottom line is just to be happy, you got to do what you want. I mean, Have that's the thing. I mean, it's like. I'm here with my best friends, you know, and this is one of the things like, you know, if, if we played in front of five people or 500 people, 5,000 people, I still have my best friend. Just for the record, even though it's all cool to be with friends, I would prefer to play for 5,000. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>